Mr. Smith. What? <laughs> David Melling. Come on, guys, let's read it now. The Kiss That Missed. Written and illustrated by David Melling. On a Tuesday, the king was in a hurry, as usual. Good night, he said, and blew his son a royal kiss. It missed. The young prince watched it rattle around the room, then bounce out of the window and into the night. The prince told the queen, the queen told the king, and the king had a quick word with his loyal knight. Follow that kiss, he squawked. The knight mounted his horse. Eventually, and galloped off in hot pursuit until they came to the wild wood. Wild creatures with wild eyes. Too much hair and very bad manners lived here. It was dark, it was smelly, it was snowing. They were not alone. There were bears with long claws and growly roars, swooping owls of all shapes and sizes, and a pack of hungry wolves with dribbly mouths. Eek! squeaked the knight. And then suddenly, with a sparkle, the royal kiss came floating by. And in turn, said good night to everyone. Bears stopped being growly. Owls stopped being swoopy. Wolves stopped being dribbly. And before you could say big hairy toes, they all settled down for a good night sleep. So the knight and his Faithful horse sat down on a wrinkly old tree trunk to rest. The wrinkly old tree trunk twitch and slowly rose into the air. Above the woods and into the clouds, at last they
they found themselves staring into a pair of giant nostrils. A dragon with this lot would be nice for breakfast. Eyes leered greedily at them. Suddenly, with a sparkle, the royal kiss came floating by and flew right up the dragon's nose. He sat up, sniffed, and blinked. Slowly, he opened his mouth, took a deep breath, and sneezed. Hang on, he said as they tumbled through the trees. Come back, he puffed as he lumbered after them. I want to pick you up and kiss you good night. Slowly, they all made their way back to the castle. That night, the prince was happy, the queen was happy, and the king promised to stop always being in a hurry. He made sure everyone was comfortable and slowly read them a bedtime story from beginning to end. Almost. The end of the story. If you like my video, please like, share, and subscribe. Bye! If you like my videos, <laughs> <laughs> if you like my videos,